my gosh. So, so far the watermelon are doing really good, but I did see this. This one broke loose. Now it landed in here and it was off of here. Let me see where, see where it was. So the thing is the tendril is brown. See how this is all brown? This is not, but most of the stem is, and it actually is leaking a little bit of sap. I would think it's ready. So I'm gonna bring it in. I might let it sit for a couple days. The other ones are still hanging good. I did not have this one with a sling, but it's still, you know, it stayed until it's probably ripe. So in nature, it would have fallen to the ground, bursted, and everybody would have eaten it. Hi, it is Robbie from Southern California, and today I am now gonna eat our first harvest. I hope it's good. I'm gonna cut it with you. Here is how I grew it. I grew them from seed, very easy in the house, started with the paper towel, moved it into a cup, you know how I do it, and planted them outside. Very simple, there were three watermelon in this tote, and there were two watermelon in the red tote, two plants. I experimented to see if it worked, and let me tell you something, it works. Here's the three, I've got one here, one there, see the tendrils already dry, ready to pick. And there is another one way down inside there. Now this one had two plants. And there still is one more here, which I did sling with some tool right here. And then there was one hanging here, which I didn't sling and I let it hang and the other day it fell. So what I did was I took it and I left it outside in a plastic tub. I don't want to bring it in because sometimes, I don't know why, a lot of fruit and vegetables tend to rot or go bad in the house quickly. Probably in the summer, we're more humid in the house. We're outside, it's got the fresh air, and the fruit will sit longer. It can actually sit for many weeks. I left it to sit just in case it was early, but I don't think it was. And today we're going to go inside, cut it, and see what it tastes like. Now, as far as growing it, I can safely say it is fine to grow three plants in one 18-gallon tote. As you know, I load this up with leaves and, and kitchen scraps. I have two systems in both here. You could do it with a pitcher, or you could do it with, like I did there, a bucket, two buckets together, or two flower pots together. This will help feed the plant. I decided to not force it into growing any more than one fruit per plant. After all, I had three plants in there. Now, will they grow more for the rest of the summer? I don't know. Time will tell if they do. I can start to trim them back, and as soon as I see a fruit start to develop, make sure it doesn't try to grow more plant, but concentrate more on the fruit. That would be the way to go. So let's go in the house and see. These are all sugar babies, just so you want to know. My daughter is trying other types, which is interesting. I'll put a link to her videos so you could check out her watermelons. But this year, so far, I've only decided to go with the sugar babies. These are not seedless. So let's go inside, let me go find Gary, and let's see what it looks like and tastes like inside. And hopefully, it's pretty good, and then we'll have more to eat soon, too. Okay, we're gonna try the first watermelon of the season. It's beautiful. Now, I did not pick this one, it, it broke off. See, it broke? Okay, yep. So we'll see what happens, but it smells. It smells good. So we'll see. I don't know. All right. So which way do you think I should slice it? This way or this way? Yeah, I would. Well, I would go the first way personally. This way? Yep. No. Oh, sounds good so far. It smells good. You gotta be kidding me. Yep. It looks good. It looks good. <gasps> I'm gonna start with the small side only because I'm going to put some in the fridge. All right, so we're gonna cut it this way, and so we can cut it. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Let's just cut it like this. It cuts really good. So I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge. I actually stored this outside. It came off days ago, and I feel that certain fruits do better being stored outside than in the house right now. And I didn't want to put it in the fridge. I wanted to make sure it was right. And then the rest I'll put in the fridge. We can have it after dinner. Boy, has it got a lot of seeds. You can take what you want. You're saying I can save the seeds. Is no, it any no. good? Yeah, it is good. 
Mm. All it needs is to be whole. To be whole. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I think the seeds are probably dark enough that they should be viable. Oh, this is a ripe fruit. So this should be good. Oh my goodness. This plant grew so fast and so good. And so good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna put the rest in the fridge. My dad used to sit and cut it paper thin. He used to sit with a knife and cut watermelons so the seeds would be easily slid out. Real, real thin. Mm. I think a lot of fruit that they've changed, like grapes that are now seedless, the ones that actually have seeds taste better. Yeah, They're I sweeter. agree with that. So now we're rudely not talking to you. First watermelon of the season. Yeah, that's a really good watermelon. This one? Yeah. It is. It was really, oh, we gotta go get some to Kitty. Mm. I'm gonna wrap that and put it in the fridge so it's cold. I didn't even weigh it, but it was heavy. I pounded on it. It had that nice ring to it. And just in case it wasn't ready, when it fell off, I found that you can let it sit. But if you let it sit in the house, humidity is so high this time of the year in the house, that they'll rot, but outside, it's just as if it's still on the vine. It doesn't hurt it at all. Mmm, boy, is this good. All right, so I think this is good. Definitely, one of my favorites grow, it's actually the only one I've ever grown, really, is the sugar babies. And the reason I like them is they grow so fast, and you have watermelon, it can be as early as 30 days, generally closer to 60. But we have actually had them in 30 days. And this time I did it in a tote, 18 gallon tote, where there were three plants, three plants in one tote. I let each plant have one fruit only, and I cut the rest of the vines. I just didn't let them get really, really big. So I trimmed them back because some of the other fruit that was developing would stay the size of a marble, and I realized it was going to pull. So I'd rather have three plants, I mean, it's just three seeds in one 18 gallon tote and cater to that and I can compost in place, water it twice a day, and it was really good. So I think with that, I think now you've seen our first watermelon for this year. And I think with that, that's it. So have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, <laughs> feel free to leave a comment. And feel free to share this on your social media. And with that, thanks for watching. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye. Mmm. Where's my hand before I touch the camera? If you want, finish it, and then I'll have we can have that after dinner. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Just don't want to touch anything. It's sticky here. Well, it's not too sticky. It's so juicy. It's so full of water. It's not dry or anything. Wow. That is one really good watermelon. I got something for you. Do you know how good watermelon is for dogs? It's very good. It's a sweet treat they can have that's actually good for them. I broke it into little pieces for you. Last piece for now. The rest is in the fridge for tonight. So what do you think? Is it good? I guess that's a yes. Is it good? He said that's it? Okay. Mmm. Yep, that's good.